By the time they reach sixth grade, most low-income students have drastically fewer opportunities to learn outside of the classroom compared to their more affluent peers. So what Citizen Schools does is it helps bring in a team, additional time, and expert volunteers to help fill in that void, to help fill in that gap that is present. I was born in Puerto Rico, and I came over here at an early age. My little sister was a month old when we came over here. I have an older brother. My name is Carlos Gonzalez. My position is a teaching fellow. My role in the mornings is to help out the Spanish-speaking population. The teaching fellowship is a two-year commitment, and young professionals are placed into public schools as a second shift of educators, and we work closely with the first shift educators to school to help support and foster student success. Everybody's so supportive across the board. Having you create some office hours. If you need a Spanish phone okay. call to be made, then... Like a little sign-up sheet or yes. something, okay. Bilingual. The kids see us as a big team. I know the whole point is that we do yep. stuff in class. When they transition from one class to another, they know that we know who their other teacher was. Where are you going? Where are you going? To the bathroom. Okay, it's going to be fast, okay? It's absolutely important that the kids see you work with the core teachers, and particularly people that might not look like them, who they feel might not have an understanding of who they are. One of the math teachers is uh, Mr. Lee. He's fantastic. They see me and him working together all the time. All right. Good morning, guys. As a teaching fellow, you are helping to implement an additional three hours to the school day to support math and literacy skills. So the next one is three tenths. Sebastian, you want to come up? Right, this is a decimal. We also have what we call apprenticeships, taught by a volunteer citizen teacher from outside of the school. My role is to assist the citizens teachers. You think that, that's better, just take all the old ones out of there? They come in, they volunteer their time for 10 weeks to teach this course to the kids. This is what we're working on, just to refresh you guys. At the end of this 10 weeks, your students are going to have an event called a WOW. Okay, the students get to teach back to you what they've been learning for the past 10 weeks. They're going to basically show off to their classmates, to their teachers, to their families, and to you. I was the first one of my, my parents' kids to graduate college. Growing up in, in, in particular kinds of neighborhoods, I guess you call them urban, inner city neighborhoods, it's very easy to be astray. All right, gentlemen, enjoy the rest of the afternoon. And if you're behind on the language, your grades might never get past a certain level. But that doesn't dictate how smart you are. It doesn't dictate how intelligent you are. So I, I can definitely... Can I, can I say? I can definitely call your mom and say how much effort you put in today. Yeah. All right? That was you, that was you, that was not me, all right? You can do that every day. All right, Arnold? It's an honor to be able to give them a little different insight. This doesn't, this doesn't make who you are. You just keep working at it. Poco a poco, little by little, you're gonna get it.